Hi friends, in this video I'm going to show you how you can take any template on Planify Pro and transform it into a dated planner very quickly and easy. So first things first, select a template. It can be a daily planner or a weekly planner. It can be one you've created yourself or you can also select one from the website. Let me quickly select one. Uh, maybe I'll go with a starter template. Um, and maybe let's start with a weekly planner. Those are the fastest and easiest to make. So here I have a weekly planner from the Star Template collection. And now in order to add the dates to each daily box, what you will need to do is click on the click on the widget. So here I'm clicking on the Monday widget and then in the settings, scroll down until you see date or date flag. So you can click uh, to add a date flag to the top right here and this will add a date flag to the top. So from here you can also click on the date flag like this and then you'll see this window here appear. Next uh, you can further adjust uh, what type of date flag you want to have. So we have different kinds of styles here. Um, I'll select the first one for this video. And then next, if you go to size, you have the option to make the date flags bigger or smaller. You can also move them down like this or move them up. And then uh, you can also select if you want to have a border color. So right now there is a gray color around the date flag. So you can have it with a black border or you can also select white like this, for example, but I think black looks best. So I'll be selecting black. And then next, you can also change the font here. And then last, you want to select a date. So you can click here on the date tab and this will open you up the calendar. And here you can select a date. Now this specific planner will start on Monday and today is Saturday. So I'll select to have it started on Monday 13th, like this, in June. So something to note is that we currently have an issue and there is a bug in the system. So it is possible that you are seeing uh, 14th by selecting 13th or seeing 16th by selecting 15th. So it is possible that it is moved by one day on your end and this is still a bug we are trying to fix. However, try to select the correct date even though you might need to select the day previous. Uh, just make sure it's the correct date. So in my case, it's Monday 13th and then close the menu. And from here, I also don't want to show um, this Monday text on top of this header. So in the setting, I can scroll down to Monday and then remove it like this, or I can also fully uh, remove the space on top like this. But I think I prefer how it looks like this right now. So I'll copy this widget. So click here on the upper left side, copy to copy the widget and then click on the rest of the widgets and paste the widget in there. So you don't have to add the dates, the date flags individually for each widget. You can just paste it in and then from here, go to the next box. So we have Monday on the first box. The second box would be 14th, Tuesday. Then Wednesday is 15th. And then we have 16th, 17, 18, and then 19. And this would be the entire week. Now next, open the multiple page panel. And here you want to add a cover or an empty page to the very first page in this multiple page menu. This is because whenever you're creating multiple pages, the first page will always be a cover which is wrapping the entire planner. So in order to add an empty page to the first position, what you can do is click on add page. This will add you um, an empty page like this. And if it's not moved to the first position, you can also click on the arrows here and make sure this empty page is moved to the first position here 
or to the first place, like this. And next, uh, to remove all the widgets or all the boxes in this layout, open the layout menu, go to adjust layout, and then you want to click on each box to uh, remove them like this. Now I have an empty right page. So I can also click to copy paste the right page to the left page by clicking on this R to L button. And now I have two empty pages. So the right page will always be the front cover and the left page of the first page will always be the back cover. If you, if you don't want to have any cover, just leave this one empty as it is right now. If you want to add a cover or if you want to have a pattern, uh, you can also go to pattern and then add a pattern you like. Um, for example, a floral one like this. You can click on full to display the full pattern. And there you go. You can also add a text or further customize the cover, but I'll leave it as is right now. So back to the weekly planner. Here we have a full week created. And to create the next week, click on duplicate page down here below on the left side. And this will duplicate you the exact page. So now you have three pages in total. And on the third page, what you want to do is you want to click on the dated flag. Um, so this menu will appear, scroll down and then click to add seven days. So what it does is it adds seven days to each flag. So if we check here on the first page, we have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So Sunday is the 19th. And then on the next page, it will continue with Monday the 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and so on. And you can repeat this step as many times as you want. So if you want to continue your data planner, duplicate this page again. So now uh, we are on the fourth page, click on the dated flag and click to add seven days. Okay, so now this week will continue to July 3rd. You can repeat this step again, click on duplicate page, click on a dated flag, add seven days. And now uh, we are at July 10th. And you can repeat this step as many times as you want. I recommend to have less than 10 pages in total um, to avoid any errors when exporting the planner. But 10 pages should be fine. So with 10 pages, you would be able to create a dated weekly planner for around two months. Now I have here in total six pages. The last page ends on July 17th. So maybe let me add uh, two additional pages. So now this planner begins on June 13th and will end on July 31st. Now, if you want to export this planner, go to Save Export. And then from here, make sure that all pages is selected and then have paper selected. And then next you want to choose on which paper size this entire planner will be printed out. If you have A4 paper at home, select A4. If you have US letter size, select US letter size. So I have A4 paper at home, so I'll be selecting A4. And then next you want to select to rearrange the pages for rings. You need to select this menu so when you're printing out the planner and arranging them, especially for smaller sizes where you're printing two pages next to each other, you need to have rearrange selected so the system can arrange the pages in a way so they all line up once you print them front and back and cut them out. So best way when you're creating multiple pages is to just always select rearrange pages for rings. The rearrange pages for a notebooks TN is when you're folding the pages in the middle to be inserted into a traveler's notebook planner. But if you're creating a ring planner where you're uh, inserting the planners into a binder, where you're hole punching them in the middle, select rearrange for rings. Now, if you're creating a planner 
which is in a bigger size, such as the US letter size, uh, you can just click on do not rearrange the pages because then it doesn't matter in what rearrangement they are because you don't need to cut out the planners. But if you have a smaller size, sizes that are tiny such as pocket size, personal size or A6 size, you do need to select um, rearrange the pages for rings. So select the menu and then click on batch generate PDF and then wait for the PDF to be generated. And this is how the pages will look like. So what you see here on the right side, this one's the front cover and then the back cover will be all the way down here. And you see that the dates are mixed up. For instance, on this page you have 18th, 19th, 20th. And then on the other side, you have seven, eight, nine. However, once you print out the planner front and back and you cut them in half and, and you insert them into your planner, all the dates will match and will line up. So here's an example of the planner I just printed out. And you see that all the dates uh, match and they all line up in your planner. Even though uh, in the PDF file, everything looks mixed up it all will line up once you have them inserted in your planner. Now I'll quickly show you how you can create dated daily planners. So for example, um, daily pages with dates on them for the entire month. Um, let me quickly select a daily planner here. Let's maybe take uh, this one. This planner is from the Star Collection as well. You're free to use this one too. So now I have the option to either add a dated flag to the goals here, to the schedule or to any other place. But I think adding one to the schedule here would be nice. So click on any widget to add a date flag. In the settings, scroll down until you see the date flag or you can also just add a date on top. So this will not add you a flag, but it will add you a date like this on top of the widget. So let's create one that looks like this and then you can click on it again. So this menu will appear, then you can make it smaller in size uh, like this. Um, I think it will look better if you remove the schedule text maybe also remove the header like this. Okay. And then maybe let's select a different um, date style. Maybe something like this, make it a bit smaller or make the font smaller. And then we can also remove uh, uh, this date header up here. So open text H1 and then select this date header and insert an empty one like this. And now copy paste the left to the right side. And now we have a dated page. So from here, click again on the date flag and then you want to select the date of the planner you want to start. So today is Saturday 11th June. I'll have this one start on the 13th as well. And then on the other side, select 14th, which is Tuesday. So once you have this, you can open the multiple page menu and then again, add a page for the cover. If it's down here, move it up to the first place like this. Now you want to have an empty layout for a cover. You can also leave it blank. Go to layout, remove all the boxes in it. And then if you want to remove the header, go to text H1 and add an empty header or you can also, or you can also deselect the header. Copy paste it from the left to the right side and there you go. Uh, for this part, I will leave this page empty. So let's go back to page two. Here is where the planner starts. Let's duplicate this page. And then next, click on uh, 13th Monday. And from here, you want to click on add one page twice. So click once and then click uh, twice. There you go. 
So you want to click on this button two times. You want to add two dates. Now let's go back to page two. We have 13th, 14th, next page 15th, 16th. Repeat this step, duplicate the page, click on the date and click twice on add one page. One, two. Okay. And then you can repeat this step for as many times as you want. One, two. And again, one and two. We are at 24th. So let me make it to the end of the month. Okay, so here I am at 30th of June. In total, I have 10 pages. So 10, 10 pages is good. I don't recommend you have more than 10 pages. You can, but I don't recommend it. So let's check again. First page is an empty one because that one will be the cover, the front and the back cover. Then here is where the planner starts on 13th, Monday, Tuesday, and then so on. So all looks fine. All the dates are correct. And then to print out this planner and export it, go to save export, export PDF, all pages, paper. I will be printing it out on A4 paper. Rearrange for rings, click on batch generate PDF and wait until the program generated your PDF file. And this is how the file looks like. You see the first page on the right side is empty because this will be the cover. And then you see it continues. Uh, sometimes the dates don't line up. Like sometimes you have 23rd on the left side and 20th on, this, on the right side. However, once you print out the planner, everything should look fine and in order. So this is how you can create data planners on Planify Pro. So simply select a daily planner or a weekly planner you previously created and then add date flags to every widget. And then after that, uh, select the correct date for each uh, daily widget. And then what you want to do next is duplicate the page and then add seven days to each page. So this would be the quickest way to create dated pages. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!